Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. Hello friends, in this tutorial, let us learn about project goals in Primera P6. Using project goals, you can organize projects in the EPS, that is Enterprise Project Structure window, according to specific categories such as location, division, phase, etc. Using project goals, you can arrange the projects hierarchically. By default, these projects will be arranged as per the EPS nodes. So in this tutorial, let us see all about how to set up a project code, assign them to projects and how to use them to organize your project layouts. Project codes are set up in project dictionary, which is available in the entire organization. You can create values for the predefined codes or you can create new project codes and values and let us see in detail now. First, defining of project codes. Go to menu bar, click on enterprise tab and click on project codes. In this window, you can view my default project codes. If I select one project code like contract type, there are many code values and their descriptions here. Now click on modify button by selecting the first code value. Then the project code definitions window will pop up like this, where you can define your project code definitions. Close this window. To add more code values, select the project code into which you would like to add from this drop down menu and then click on this add button and type a value name and then a description. To change the sequence order of the code values, you can select and use the arrows on the right hand side to adjust. To delete, cut or copy paste, you can use these buttons. See, I am deleting this one now. Right click on the display and select the chart view to view into a chart view. You can customize this again by right clicking and selecting the chat box template and click on customize there is one more thing to know here which is weightages you can assign weightages to project codes using which you can rank or prioritize your projects and view them by this weighted codes to add weight to your project code just right click here and select columns and click on weight and you can add values here in this column. Close this window now. And let us see assigning project code values to the projects. Select a project in this projects window, say this one, Harbor Point, and in the details section, go to Codes tab and click on Assign button to assign specific codes. You can see already I have assigned four codes. If you want to assign, click on this assign button and select a desired code and click on this plus button to assign. So this is how you assign all respective codes of project to the project. Now let us see how to group and filter the project codes. Right click in this projects window and click on group and sort by. And here you can see all the available project codes. You click on those to group by that specific project code or else you can click on customize to group and sort as per your requirement. If you see the Gantt chart which is currently showing the summary bar will also be working similarly when you change the group and sorting by project codes like this. Now let us go back to our original layout and see how to filter by project codes. You can click on this filter icon and you can add more filters by clicking on the new button here. For example, I'm clicking on new and selecting the parameter as division equals to and select engineering from the drop down. And you can also name this filter like this. Click OK and you can see here the UD1 that is user defined one filter in the user defined filter section. If you select this and click on the apply button to view all those projects assigned with that specific code. 
here we don't have any projects assigned so it is showing blank so in this way you should be using the filter uh, feature of the project codes so friends this is all about project codes in primavera p6 if you have enjoyed this tutorial please give me a like share and comment for further more interesting videos please do subscribe dp tutorials thank you friends thanks for watching